Hello everyone and welcome back to Sync Geek. My name is Ronnie Peterson and in today's video I'm going to help you find your vocal range. In today's video I've created for you a track to sing along to. It will show the pitch name and then you sing along with it. First it's going to go down, all the way down um, and you sing along step by step until you find your lowest note. Try and sing along with that note a few times, maybe pause the video um, to see uh, if it really is a note that you can sing. If not, maybe go a little bit back and try a higher note. It should be something that you feel comfortable singing in an actual song. Um, and then after you found your lowest note, you go back up uh, or keep going with the video and then you will find your highest singable note step by step. Now don't feel so bad if you can't hit the, ex the absolutely lowest note that I'm uh, having here in the track or the absolute highest note that I have in the track. Um, I did go pretty far with each so that it's applicable to all voices. Uh, me, myself, I'm uh, about a mezzo-soprano uh, and the lowest note that I feel comfortable singing in a song is an E flat 3. As you sing down the scale, as you sing down the chromatic scale, I recommend that you maybe sing on an A vowel. A vowel is a really good vowel for you to get that resonance forward. Um, as you're singing, you will, it will be easier for you to actually create the resonance and create the note outward that you want to make. As you sing on your higher notes, as you get through the second end of the track, I recommend that you sing on an U vowel. Ooh, it will help you to get really nice and pinpointy with those notes. Remember as you're going up to your higher range that there's actually your head voice is a part of your range. So feel free to switch in. Don't try to build up all the way up to your highest note. Switch to your head voice and sing fluently. Now, if you haven't already done it, I want you to pause the video and warm up your voice, both low and high, so that it is limber and ready for you to sing along with the track. So if you did that, then let's get started. Okay guys, hopefully you found your lowest singable note and you have written it down. Um, really all there is to say is maybe now do a few lip trills in your higher register just to get your voice back up to like a normal range and if you've been singing low it can kind of feel like you're talking like this. So maybe do a few lip trills or do a few or hum a little bit up in your higher register and then let's get started on your higher register.
So great job. Hopefully now you know your lowest singable note and you know your highest singable note. So the next thing that you can do is that you can click on the link that I have provided below. Uh, it is a free PDF file with the different voice classifications and it has an empty piano at the end of the page where you can color in your own vocal range. So that when you've seen your own vocal range, you can compare it to the other, vo uh, the other vocal classifications that are on the top of the, on the, P of the PDF. Um, I think it's really nice to get a visual on it. What we use the voice classifications for is, for example, if you join a choir. Uh, in a choir, we have it set up, you might have heard it before, like there's the basses, there's the tenors, there's the altos and the sopranos. Um, and depending on what voice classification you have, you are put in one of those voices. So that when you harmonize together, it sounds really nice and you get to sing where you are the strongest. So check that out, try and see what you are and please share below. I want to hear what voice classification you have, what is the most common. Now here at the end I did want to mention to you that your vocal range is not set. Especially if you haven't trained your voice that much. Um, as you improve your technique, for example your breathing and then your supporting of your notes, you will be able to sing lower and especially higher notes as you train how to stretch your vocal folds healthily and properly. So have a look around my channel, train with some of the exercises there and maybe in a few weeks you can come back and you can try this again and see if you have extended your vocal range. Dun, 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 dun.